Jason Seed. Hope you're having a great day out there today. Uh, today I'm just talking very quickly about uh, getting your phantom back should you lose it out there somewhere. Now that might mean you had orientation problems and you just lost it in the sun and don't know where it went down or you could have had a potential flyaway condition and um, you know flyaways are very controversial who knows why they happen, a software glitch or a cell phone tower interfered with your signal, who knows. But let's say you had a flyaway. Or let's say you just had your Phantom in your shed and you went out there one day and it was gone. Well, gotta get it back. So there's a couple of things you can do to get your Phantom back. I'm gonna show you what they are. Here's the first thing you should do. Put your name and your phone number on your Phantom. If you don't want to put your name on it, put the word reward on it. Use a label maker and print it out nice and legibly, stick it on your Phantom. If you do have a flyaway or somehow lose your Phantom out there, if you have the word reward on there and a phone number, the chances go way up that somebody is going to call you and offer it back to you, especially if you have reward written on it. The Phantom is no good to them, they don't have the radio. So put your, take responsibility for your Phantom, put a phone number on it, put the word reward on it, you just might get it back. The second thing you can do is put information on your SD card. This is what I've done. Take the SD card out of your Phantom or out of your camera, whatever you're using on your bird. Take the SD card, put it into your computer and then on your computer you want to do this. Take your SD card, put it in your computer, then rename the SD card REWARD. Just in big capital letters, call the SD card REWARD. So if somebody finds your Phantom, they pull the SD card out, they open it up, the first thing they're gonna see is the word REWARD. Open up the SD card, and there's a few things you want to do there. One is, I created a JPEG uh, file and that JPEG is a flyer so it says reward if found please return to Jim Bowers my phone number my email address my mailing address and then it says thank you for your honesty with a big nice picture of me right in the middle of it so this is sort of a plea and you're banking on somebody's honesty that they might return your phantom so that's one way to get their attention and then I also created just a separate folder and I renamed the folder my phone number. So that gets their attention. So there's another way for you to get your phantom back should you lose it. Okay, all right, so let's say you're out in the field somewhere and you're flying your phantom and all of a sudden you lose it in the sun or you don't know where it is. It's downrange somewhere. Uh, you've lost it, you're SOL it's gone and you don't know what to do a couple of things you can do one is assuming you have activated your left hand switch in the IOC this is in the NASA assistant software you can activate the home lock and the course lock on your left hand switch what you would do is you've lost the side of your phantom so you throttle up for about four seconds just go full throttle for about four seconds what that's going to do is, is, no matter where your phantom's at, it's going to rise up out there somewhere and get above the trees or above the buildings or above the cell phone tower, whatever. And then after you do that, just pull back on your right stick. You're in the home lock position on your switch, pull back on your right stick, and no matter where your phantom's at, it's going to track its way back home. It's going to come back toward the home point. Whether it's out to your left, out to your right, behind you, a mile and a half in front of you, assuming you still have signal, it's going to move its way back toward the home point. So there's another way to get your phantom back. Now, if that doesn't work and you still can't see it and you're looking all around you can't find it anywhere, then last ditch resort, turn off your radio. Let it go into an RTH, a return to home failsafe mode. And when you turn off your radio, it's going to come back. It's going to rise up. It's going to track its way back to you. It's going to hover there for 20 seconds or something. 
and then it's gonna auto land itself right within three feet of where it took off from. So, it's always worked for me. I've never had a problem with it. I've tested it many, many times and every single time it's come home. If you haven't tried your return to home, you should. Just get your Phantom out there 60 or 70 feet away from you, turn off your radio. Let it come home and prove itself to you that it works. It should, it's always worked for me. I can guarantee it's gonna work for you, but it's always worked for me. So, give it a try. The last and final way that you can get your Phantom back is by using your DJI app on your cell phone. If you go into the settings on your app, just click on the DJI app and then go into the settings and then scroll down in the settings and you'll see Find My Phantom. Click on Find My Phantom and it'll bring up a map. And that map is showing the last location that your Phantom was in. And you can click on Satellite and it gives you a satellite view that you can zoom in on. Now, assuming your Phantom is still on and operating once you've crashed it somewhere, you can zero in on your Phantom and walk to its current location at least until the battery goes dead or a coyote runs off with it. And that's going to do it for another edition of Demon Seed here on YouTube. Hope you got a few good tips out of it. And uh, if you do lose your Phantom, I hope you're able to get it back by using some of these useful tips. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe and like my videos so I move up a little bit in the rankings. And if you like my painting, shoot me an email. All right, see you later. Bye.